What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how narcissistic people expect you to forgive them for everything, but you can't expect the same thing from them. They'll hold on to grudges. They'll stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So yes, when a narcissist does something wrong to you, you are supposed to get over it quickly. But when the shoe's on the other foot, it's in the past. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. This is one of the many double standards that exist in a relationship with a narcissist or a toxic person. Because you don't get to get away with the same things that they get away with. That's just kind of the unwritten law of being in a toxic relationship, y'all. Me, as a narcissistic person, can do one thing to you. And I should be forgiven for. But if you do the exact same thing to me, ooh, there's no forgiveness coming for you. But that's how it works in a narcissistic person's brain. They don't see you as equals. Typically, a narcissist in a relationship with you sees you as competition or lesser than them. But if you're greater than them in any way, they will try their hardest to bring you down to their level or below. So things like you're living in the past, you're too emotional, you never let things go, you never get over anything, are typically going to come out of a narcissist's mouth. But they can't come out of yours. Double standards. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So it is absolutely 100%. If you couldn't read this text on the screen, it says, oh, but when they do something wrong, you're supposed to forget it. That, it was, that comment was in response to a video I did about how narcissistic people, you know, they they will never forgive you for anything but when you do something to them when they do something to you you're supposed to forget it that is part of the double standards that absolutely exist in the relationship with a narcissist you don't get to do the same things that a narcissistic person gets to do you just don't that's not the way it works when you're dealing with a narcissist it just it, uh, yeah i know it. bully that's not fair y'all life isn't fair when you're with a narcissistic person it's just not you you it's not going to be fair when you're dealing with a narcissist or you're dealing with a toxic person. It just doesn't work that way. That narcissistic person does not want to see you happy. That narcissistic person does not want to see you thrive. That narcissistic person that you're dealing with that only cares about themselves first. I'm not going to say they don't care about you at all, but if they put themselves first. Narcissistic people have the me first, the, the me first mindset. Me first, me first, me first. I'm going to serve me first if you get hurt in the process of me serving me then you are collateral damage the way i like to describe this is if you are willing this is how the narcissist mind works y'all if you are willingly i might look i'm a hurricane the narcissistic person toxic person in your life is a hurricane if you are willingly in the relationship with this person you they've done bad things to you before then you are a house on the beach you built this house on the beach knowing that this person you're dealing with is a hurricane in their category category five they're coming for you you ain't they're coming they're coming you know they're coming but you keep building the house on the beach they try to make themselves happy they're spinning out there in the ocean they're making themselves happy they're cheating on you they're lying to you they're doing whatever they're destroying the houses on the beach but guess what if you go back to them you know the hurricane is coming. You know that you're on the beach. You know this beachfront property floods. The flood insurance is higher than the mortgage. You know the chances of this house being destroyed, You the, the chances of you being destroyed and hurt are high as hell. 100% probability. But if you go back into it, you're rebuilding the house on the beach and that hurricane, you, you're, st you're rebuilding the house on the beach while the hurricane is still there. The hurricane hasn't even dissipated. It just came, destroyed the beach, and spun back out there into the ocean. It's not a category five anymore. It's a category one. Why is out there spinning around? So that's how narcissistic people feel. Like you, you know what we're gonna do now. The first time, okay, yeah. Second, third, fourth, fifth, no, 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 no. Narcissistic people, and they expect you to get over it. I'm a hurricane. You know what you're dealing with. They expect you to forget about it. if they do something to you. They expect you to forget about it damn near immediately. You have to have a goldfish memory when you're dealing with a narcissist. They expect you to be the goldfish. You have to have a goldfish memory. You can't hold on to what I've done to you. You can't hold on to what they've done to you. But they can absolutely use the past against you. That's just how it works. I know it's not fair. Believe it. Again, I know that's not fair. But that's the way the world works when you're dealing with a narcissistic person. It just is. 
That's how the narcissist mind works. It's like, you don't get, you can't, yo, it, that, that's not how it works. You just can't get away with the same things they, they, they get away with. You just can't. So that's what I'm saying. When you're dealing with a narcissist, the person just understand that they're going to do things to you that you can't do to them. If they do something to you, they're going to say, "Hey, it's in the past. Get over it. You hold it. You're too emotional. You 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 you, you hold on to the past too much. You living in the past. Come to the future times. Come to the present. It's fun here. The present is fun. Living in the past must be tough for you because I'm living in the present. I don't hold on to stuff. But if they if you do the same thing they do to you, oh my God." They're going to hold on to it. If you, when you're dealing with a narcissist that does something bad to you, two minutes ago is the past. 30 seconds ago is the past. The beginning of the video, when I did my introduction, uh, the introduction to this video is in the past. Is it not in the past? It's not right. It's not in, it's not in the present right now, right? It's past. Past tense. That's the past, right? That's, they'll get you. And they'll justify using it against you whatever crazy stuff they're going to come out out the top of their heads they're going to justify them using the past against you and they're going to justify you can't you not being able to use it against them it's not relevant relevance relevance your honor relevance objection relevance was a uh, camille from uh, the johnny depp trial objection hearsay objection relevance they're going to be camille from the johnny depp trial they're going to they're, they're going to just object to everything that you say you can't like y'all Y'all, I mean, like I said, I'm not telling y'all to leave your partner. I'm not telling you to to leave your family or whatever. I'm telling you that this is how it's going to be. But Lee, you change. Yeah, I did not change. I'm still a hurricane. I'm a hurricane that's under control. I'm the, I'm the hurricane. Uh, <laughs> I'm the hurricane that's under control most of the time. I'm a category one. Look, I'm the, look. I'm a tropical. I'm, I'm tropical storm Lee Hammock. I'm a tropical storm. I'm a tropical depression. I'm not even a tropical storm anymore. I'm a tropical depression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a tropical depression. I have the potential to become a hurricane if the conditions are right. But I'm like, I'm a, I'm in therapy, so I've downgraded. I'm still a narcissist. I still I still can do some damage here and there. But I won't go to category five. It's not going to happen because I'm in therapy. I'm, I'm getting control of my behaviors. I'm controlling my reactions better. Unless the narcissistic person or the toxic person in your life does that, then there is no hope for this person. They're going to be category five all the time, all the time. And all it takes is the right conditions for them to explode into a category five. Warm water, look, nice warm waters, anger, get them mad, try to hold them accountable, use the past against them. All that stuff that they're going to do to you, you can't do it to them. And that's just how it's going to be, y'all. I'm not... I'm not saying this to make you feel bad. I'm not saying this to hurt your feelings. I'm saying this to raise your to raise awareness for you to understand that this is it right here, y'all. This is absolutely it. You mean that's the mindset. This is the mindset. This is what you're dealing with. Again, I'm not telling you to leave this relationship. I'm not telling you to go. I'm not telling you to stay. I'm telling you to pick you and understand that that person is is a hurricane. And nothing you say, and anything that you can't, it, like, it's like pretty much like the, the, the Miranda, you know, the Miranda rights. When a cop is arresting you, they read you, read you your Miranda rights. That's how it is in a narcissistic relationship. They're reading you the narcissistic Miranda rights. Anything you say can and will be used against you later on in this relationship dynamic. Anything you say. You are, do you understand the, the Miranda rights of narcissism? Thank you. Sign this, sign this dotted, sign on the dotted line. I'm just telling you, that's how it is. You can't, you can't, yeah, you just can't get away with the same things they, they get away with. I know it's not fair. I know it's trash. I understand that because I'm the tropical depression right now. Tropical depression, Lee Hammock. Not tropical storm. That's how it is, though, y'all. I'm not, like, again, again, I want y'all to win. I really want y'all to win. But Lee, why do you want us to win? Because I like helping people win. That's my addiction right now, y'all. I love it. I really, really do love it. I love helping people win. And I want to help y'all win. So win, y'all win. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't say win at all costs, but sometimes trying to win and be, trying to win against the narcissist might cost you the greatest thing in your life. You know what I mean? It might cost you the greatest thing. So be careful with these people, y'all. Be careful with them. When you're dealing with a narcissist, toxic person, be careful with them. Because everybody, some of these people are un unpredictable and some of these people will absolutely send you to meet God if you don't follow by their rules. If you don't follow by their, whatever, they're, whatever they have going on, if you don't follow by that, they will send you, you, you to meet Allah or to meet God or to meet Buddha or whoever you believe in.
to meet to go to the spiritual realm if you don't believe in anybody. Send you to <laughs> send you send you to the uh, the Hades, whatever. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all because as much as y'all learn from me, I promise you, promise you, promise you, I learn even more from you. Thank y'all, thank you, thank you. Mental Hillness is out. Peace.